Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail of this video, I've got a massive try and haul for you guys. So I've been collecting loads of pieces from loads of different brands for my holiday. So the main places I ordered from were Shein and Pretty Little Thing. So they'll take up the majority of this video, but I'm just gonna go through the small parcels I've got first. Everything will be linked in the description box down below. I'll put all the prices on the screen as well, just so you guys know how much I paid for everything. I'm gonna start with the weekday as I only got a couple bits from them so firstly I just got this triangle bikini top I'm not gonna try on the bikinis or anything because I think that will take too long and also YouTube will probably demonetize me for that so just a simple black bikini top it is double lined and the back is quite skinny as well so it's good for minimizing tan lines the next thing I got is this little gray crop top it's like a charcoal gray it's quite stretchy and it doesn't seem too see-through as well it seems quite good quality yeah it's just got a simple scoop neck design and really mini sleeves so I thought it'd be really good for casual days out and stuff like that just a basic top so the next thing I got is this tube dress so I saw Shalina Nim wearing this on her Instagram and I thought it it was the cutest thing she actually got hers from asos and when i looked on asos it was all sold out and i think the only one left on there is a pink version of this dress but i just fell in love with the blue version so when i went to the website and they still had it in stock thankfully so i picked it up from there and they were actually having a sale on as well so it was a little bit cheaper it has a slit on the back as well but it's not too far up i hate it when slits on the back of dresses go like right underneath your bum i feel like what's the point of having a maxi dress if the slit is just gonna go right up your ass anyway. Quality is really nice on this. It's really thick, it's not see-through at all. And I think this will hug my curves perfectly. Moving on to Misguided. Again, I only got a couple things from Misguided because there was only really one thing that I wanted. And that was this midi dress that I saw all over TikTok, which has been going viral. Initially, I wanted this dress in the gold colorway that they have, but I thought I would get more use out of the black version. It's just a black midi dress. It looks really see-through on camera camera but um it's not that see-through in person i would wear some um nipple covers or something underneath just so you can see then it has a lace-up detail in the back and it has a slit on one of these sides the material is kind of glittery as well but it does feel kind of scratchy i'm not sure how it's going to feel on but we'll see and it does have a quite a bit of stretch as well and i know this comes in in between sizes like extra small small this is a size medium to large the next thing i got is actually a two-piece so it's just a little crop top bralette with spaghetti strap and a pair of shorts as well so i thought this would be good to sleep in they're very lightweight and very comfortable very breathable and they do have a bit of stretch as well they have a nice elastic band on there. I'm just going to go on to ASOS next. I ended up doing a massive order on ASOS, but I tried everything on and it either didn't fit me or it just didn't look right. So I only ended up keeping three things. First thing is this maxi black satin skirt. And it's actually from Topshop, but obviously selling on ASOS. And the material on this is really nice. It's really silky, really soft. I really like the length of the skirt as well. I think this would look so cute with a nice corset. Set. I do have an outfit in mind so hopefully I can pull the outfit off. The waistband is elasticated so you don't have to worry about it sliding down. So yeah I'm really excited about this skirt because I feel like you can wear it with so many different things. It's such a versatile piece. And the next two things are swimsuits. So this is a full body swimsuit. It's just all black and it has wire in the underbust. And this fits really nice. It feels really secure on as well. So you know it's not going to slip or anything like that. And that is actually from the ASOS brand. And then the next thing is just a bikini white two piece. So this is what the top looks like. And I really like the ruffle edge it has there. And as well it has wires in there. So you know it's going to be secure. It's going to keep its shape. And it actually has little sleeves. So I love the design. Um, and then it has two tie ups at the back. And then the matching bottoms are just very simple. This swimsuit is from Miss Selfridge. So moving on to H&M. I only got two things with H&M and it was in the sale section. So I just have this basic white tank. It's a little bit short. It's not a crop, but it is shorter on the body. The straps are a little bit thin. They're not spaghetti straps, but you know what I mean. They're just a little bit on the thinner side. The material is quite stretchy. I have found though that it is a little bit see-through, um, but obviously nothing major. So yeah, just a basic white tank top. 
top. Next thing is another basic, but it is in black instead. It's just a one shoulder asymmetrical tank top as well. This one is a little bit longer on the body as well. I found that it's not see-through whatsoever and the material is a lot thicker and the strap is thicker as well. Next we have TK Maxx. I only got three things from TK Maxx and they basically are the same thing, just different colors. I picked up three pairs of juicy shorts. I found such cute colors and I thought that it would be really good for just like lounging around or going down to get breakfast. Just casual shorts to wear. The first pair are these bright blue ones. So they just have Juicy Couture Sport on the corner here and then Juicy on the back as well. And I love how it's all monochromatic. I love that. I love the color as well. I think it's so bright. It also has little drawstrings on the inside and it does have pockets as well. The next pair are these like lime green toweling material and the band on this is thicker than the ones previously and it just has the Juicy Couture logo instead of writing right there. And it doesn't have anything on the back. And then it just has silver eyelets on the drawstrings. And the next pair I think are my favorites, but they are the black and white pair. The waistband is really stretchy. And then the Juicy logo is just embroidered on the side here. And then there's nothing on the back. So moving on to Pretty Little Thing, I had a huge bag here. The first thing are these little sliders, little Yeezy dupes. So on the website, they looked more creamy, but in person, they look a bit more yellowy. They are pretty comfortable. They're actually very comfortable and really soft as well. And these I just got for by the pool side. Moving on to the clothes, I picked up this beach cover up and I feel like everyone owns this now. It's a maxi length dress and it just has little spaghetti straps on there and it has loads of little holes in there. It feels really good quality, it feels soft. So it does have a little bit of stretch to it as well, so you know it'd be comfortable. The next thing are these green trousers. So they're like beach cover-ups. It feels really soft, they're not scratchy at all, they don't feel itchy at all, and they have a bit of stretch as well, so they're not too stiff. The waistband doesn't have any stretch at all. I believe they fit high-waisted, at least you know they won't be falling down. And there's actually an invisible zip on the side here but yeah they're full length trousers and they do have a little bit of a wide leg at the bottom as well i love the color the color is coming off a little bit more muted on camera but the color is a bit brighter in person the next thing i got is a two-piece so it's technically another beach cover-up but i'm assuming you can wear it out just a shirt and a pair of shorts but i love the neutral color on there i love the stripes the waistband is very elasticated and it feels really nice. They don't look see-through at all and the legs are really wide as well, so you know it's not gonna be uncomfortable or too tight. I would probably wear this button down with a white bikini. Um, the buttons look really nice as well. I actually liked it so much, I picked it up in another color. This is just screaming holiday vibes, like the blue and the pinstripes. I've seen so many people wearing things like this. So yeah, again, same long sleeve with the buttons on the side. But I will say this material feels more stiff than the other one. It's not as soft and it doesn't feel as nice quality. It does seem a little bit more see-through than the other one as well, but we'll see on the try-on. So yeah, like I said about the previous one, I'll just wear this with a white bikini as a cover-up or I'll just wear it really casual. So the next thing I got is just this black maxi skirt and there's no slits in it or anything. Um, the waistband is elasticated, so you know it will fit nice around your waist. The material seems a little bit see-through, but it's I, th I think it's okay. Um, honestly, not very noticeable at all. But yeah, it doesn't have a lot of stretch. The last thing I got from Pretty Little Thing is this black denim corset. I actually got this to wear with the satin skirt, just so it has a contrast of textures. It has a zip going all the way down the back. These pockets on the front are fake. Even the zip one, the zip one's fake as well. I know some Pretty Little Thing denim has a little bit of stretch, but this doesn't have any stretch at all. So just keep that in mind when you're thinking about sizes. I love the cut of it, I love the design on the front and I love the little pockets as well or the fake pockets I should say. So it's like a bandeau style, there's no sleeves or straps or anything. I think this will be super cute with a little maxi skirt. So the last thing I got is this little choker necklace with a little chrome heart on it. I thought it would look so cute with the denim corset and the black maxi skirt, just you know just silver and black vibes, that's what I'm going for. Moving on to Shein which is definitely the biggest part of this haul. I've got about 
you know, four bags sitting on the floor. So I'm just gonna take everything out and organize them into categories so this can go a lot more smoother. I've organized everything into categories. We've got accessories, shoes, bags, dresses, bottoms, two pieces and top. I'm just gonna go through the accessories really quickly. There's only three things. I just got this little gold chain and then I just got two more chains, one in gold and one in silver, just for layering. Next, I'm gonna do bags and I'm gonna start with this little cute card purse. So I just got this because all my cards are just floating in my bag somewhere and I always lose my cards. So I just got this so I know where everything is. So it's just got gold hardware and it's like a pinkish purpley color. And then the inside just opens up like that. So the next set of bags comes in a set of three and these are just toiletry bags. I got these to put all of our, um, obviously toiletries like shampoo and conditioner, stuff like that, makeup in these um, just while we're traveling. They're very simple, just black. And then this one has a little handle on it. The next thing I got is just this simple beach bag. Um, I didn't want to get anything too expensive because I know it will probably get ruined when we go. Um, so yeah, it's just a simple like woven design. And then it has these two rope straps and it has a magnetic clasp on the inside and it's just beige. And it also comes with a little wrist bag as well. And it just has a zip on the top. The next category is shoes and I'm going to start off with these silver mules. They're really cute and they feel really nice quality as well. They're not too stiff on the toe area as well so I don't think that they would hurt. Very simple is what I was going for. And then these are the next pair. They're just a simple wedge. They've got perspex on the front of the toe as well and I've actually tried these on and the perspex is really soft and quite flexible and I've got a wide foot and they fit me pretty comfortably. The shoe is actually really comfortable. It has texture on the bottom so it's not going to be slippery and I love the sort of woven design on the side. This last pair is another wedge but these are just simple black. Um, the toe part is flexible as well so it's really good if you've got wide feet and you need the extra comfort or the extra space. These are just a foam block heel. Excuse the lighting change, I've just had to put the lights on because the sun is setting a little bit. So I'm going to get into tops next. So the first thing is a simple crop top in this lovely olive green colour. The material feels really soft. I just know it's going to be see-through though. Just looking at it, you can tell that you can even see me through there. Um, but yeah, I think it would be fine. Just like a casual top, maybe just like a beach cover up or something like that. It's very stretchy. It feels really soft as well. So you, it's not going to be scratchy or anything on your skin. So if you've got sensitive skin, this one might be a good one for you. But yeah, very simple. I love how the piping goes around the edges as well. The next top we have is a little charcoal gray crop top. The sleeves are really thick. The material as well is a lot thicker than the one before. Um, I don't think this will be see through. It does seem really nice quality. It has some ruffle detail on the side there and the back is fully closed and I do like that in tops. It's like a crop top length. The material is stretchy as well and um, it does feel good. It feels like it does have a bit of structure to it. The next top is giving me fairy vibes. It's this beautiful baby pink colour. Um, it has full sleeves and even like extended sleeves so they cover your hands. Um, it has these little tie up details in the front here. It is sheer so you'll definitely have to wear something underneath um, but I just I love the texture and the little like squiggly lines it's got going on and um, I think this looks so cute. The material is very stretchy as well so you know it's going to give you a really nice fit. Yeah I just love this. I love this so much. The last two tops are actually the same top but they just have different cuts. Just this body print top. I'm sure everyone's seen these all over the place by now. I chose it in this beautiful green colour and I think it complements my skin really well. The material is quite stretchy as well and it is long on the body so it's not cropped up or anything like that and the material of this is kind of shiny almost like swimsuit material but I don't mind that I think that's fine I think when it's this material it's less see-through and then I got the same top again but it has sleeves this time and sometimes I want to wear sleeves sometimes I don't want to wear sleeves I think they give a different look every time but I will say with this one the material is completely different and um, also the color as well if I hold them side by side this one's more of an olive green and this one's more of a forest green the material on this one is really soft and it feels like it will make you um, a bit warmer and um, I'm not sure how I feel about that but we'll see but this one I will say is a lot stretchier than the other one so the first pair of bottoms I have to show you are these 
beach cover-up trousers so they're just white they are see-through but obviously that's to be expected with a beach cover-up the waistband is very stretchy the material though is not stretchy whatsoever so keep that in mind when you're choosing your sizes the material as well you know when clothing feels a bit starchy i don't know i don't know that word but it's not scratchy but i don't know it just feels a little bit stiff that's what this feels like and then the last pair of bottoms I got are these shorts. Now, these shorts are a bit longer, but she and denim, like, they are very, very stretchy. So they're not going to squash your bum or anything. I find it really difficult finding bottoms that fit me around my waist and also around my legs and everything like that. So these feel like they're going to fit me really well. Just a light wash blue denim with a few scuffs on the sides. And then the bottoms are frayed as well. I'm going to go into swimwear next because I'm not going to be trying these on for obvious reasons the first pair is like a tankini kind of vibe so it's a whole neck top and is backless it has padding and everything but i probably will take those out yeah they're just black and simple and then the bottoms are like little booty shorts i did kind of go for the same sort of vibe with all the bikinis because i've got more cheekier bikinis from different brands so i thought i'd get a variety of bikinis like ones that are more cheeky and then ones that are more covered up the next one is a full-on shirt so it's like a low cut shirt and it has like mini sleeves and then it has this ruching detail in the middle which you can make it tighter if you want to or more loose depending on what you prefer and yeah black again i think black is just so flattering so i tend to get everything in black and then the bottoms are also a pair of shorts this one has ruching on the sides as well so you can make it smaller and another black swimsuit this one is like completely full coverage and it has long sleeves as well it just has like white piping on the front to give it a bit of design the back is completely covered as well it has a bit of a mock neck vibe going on there and then the bottoms are a little pair of swim shorts as well just with piping on the edges so the next set i have i think it's so cute it's a little white bikini this time and it has a little heart detail in the front it is really soft it's not scratchy at all it's just a halter neck like before and the back is just a simple tie up and then these are the bottoms and they also have little hearts on the sides as well and they are tie up on the side which i do prefer because you can then tie it tighter or a bit looser depending how you want it to fit and the back on this is a little bit more cheeky going into dresses next the first dress i got is this little tube dress these dresses have been everywhere so it's a crochet dress and it has little ruffles on the bottom there and um, it's a shorter dress than what i would normally wear but only because i like wearing maxi dresses but i just i love the color i was stuck picking between the blue and the green but i did think that the green would go better on my skin tone and um, the top is not see-through at all and it has a lot of stretch it's just the bottoms that the holes are obviously a bit larger so i recommend wearing some white bottoms or some nude underwear so you can tell but yeah i think this is so cute the next dress i got is another tube dress it's giving like those fashion over dresses that you used to see back in the day it has a slit on the side so it's more breathable and again it's just another bandeau style it actually has a sticky strip on the inside so it helps with not falling down and the inside on the front part is actually double lined so it's not going to be see-through i love the colors they're just like neutral tones you could definitely wear this with silver jewelry like nice little white bag or something white heels i definitely think this is like a going out for dinner type of dress you could probably dress it up or down depending on what you were doing for the day this is the last dress that i got i think this dress is so beautiful all the customer reviews as well looks really good and i love the little puff sleeves it has going on so it just has a little tie in the front um, the front is double lined as well so you know it's not going to be see through but it feels really good quality it's not stretchy though so keep that in mind about sizing and stuff like that it has a slit on the side so you know it's going to be breathable the material seems really flowy and just just really nice they had this in loads of different patterns and colors on the website as well so i think there's one on there for everyone final category i'm going to go through is two pieces so i'm going to start off with this white two piece and it's kind of like a mesh material but there is lining underneath and um, it feels really soft and this is like a midi length and um, it's definitely not maxi i love how bright white the color is and i love the i don't know what kind of stitching you call it like the inside out stitching and um, 
but yeah i love the design i think it adds a lot of texture to the look and i really like that and then the top is just a simple crop top these sleeves aren't lined as well which i like because obviously it means you're not going to get as hot it has a lot of stretch as well so you know it's going to fit really nice and yeah i love this i think this would look so cute like going out as well the next two piece i've seen a lot of variations all over social media and tiktok and stuff like that so this is just the top so it's a lovely gray color and um, the sides have a bit of ruching and the back is fully closed the top isn't very exciting but it's more the skirt now the skirt has two massive slits on the sides and these ruffles as well and it also has ruching further to the top now the bottoms is where it's at so i love these i think this there's so much movement in this fabric as well i think the color accentuates your body so nicely it has extra fabric all over the edges and i think this would look so nice on a night out so the next two piece is another skirt and top piece as you can tell i like my skirts so it's just this bandeau top and it's all lace flowers and the boob part is lined as well so you can't see anything in there and it just has this tie up detail in the front and then the skirt is a maxi skirt and it has a slit on the side so it's nice and breathable easy to walk in it's lined all the way throughout so you know you're not going to see anything with this skirt it's nice and stretchy i love how it looks i love the floral design it's so cute this next two piece is definitely more casual than the previous but i do think it's still a nice going out outfit it's a trouser two-piece and this is the top it's a bandeau style top and it sort of flares out at the bottom and then the back is actually backless it's just a strap going across the back like that and then it drapes down lower really stretchy i think it will fit really nice and then the bottoms are just trousers and they do have a bit of stretch as well so you know it'll look nice on your curves the bottoms of the trousers as well have this sort of scallop details which i think is really cute and it has that on the top as well this next two piece is definitely a clubbing outfit i knew i needed at least one clubbing outfit just in case we do go out but it's just this halter neck it looks like sort of a wet leather material but it's not it's like i don't know how to describe it but i don't know if you can hear that and it'll give you like an indication of what it feels like not scratchy like it feels smooth to the touch but when you rub the material together it does have that like scratchy sound um but yeah it's just a halter neck top and it scoops in the middle here and it's completely backless and it just has a little tie up and the bottoms are just a maxi skirt and it does have a slit at the back as well but it's not too high which i like it does seem a little bit see-through so i would wear some like black underwear or something underneath going from one extreme to the next so this is going to be a very casual two-piece um it, this is what the top looks like i thought the little pink scallop edging and the little bow in the middle was so cute um, it has this little ruffle design on the bottom as well. The grey colour is really pretty and then on the inside it also has that sticky strip to keep it from falling down because it is a bandeau style and then the trousers are just like a full length so it has the same bow and the same pink scalloped edging as well last but not least we have a little jumpsuit it has this kind of tie-dye effect to it it is a really stretchy material and it is backless as well so i think it would be good when it is a little bit warmer it has a little scrunch detail on the bum as well so that's really flattering and then the bottoms are flared as well i definitely think you should size down when you order this because it is very very stretchy so that was everything for this haul like i said before everything will be linked in the description box down below please like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one